Yo, yo, my funky friends, Ladder Monkey Boy here. Welcome you back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the last part, we did a bunch of side quests up here in the sky, and today we're going to be continuing with the main quest uh, by con trying to meet with all of the dragons and learn their parts of the Song of the Hero, I believe is what it's called, in order to um, get the Triforce and stuff. So, uh, as you can probably guess, so basically you have to go to all three of the surface areas. You have to go to Farron, Elden, and Lanaru since there is a dragon in each of them. And I'll just be doing them in the order that we went to them initially, starting off with Farron, then I'll do Elden, then I'll do Lanaru. So Farron is the only one that we've actually already met the dragon with. The other two we haven't even seen, which is kind of interesting. So if he's going to say, like, you can't descend into Farron Woods and you can only come here. So that's why I said, like, I was going to initially do the Gratitude Crystals, but you can't, like, go into any of this area all you can do is behind the temple and sealed grounds which uh, basically means that like basically after you've I guess probably beaten Levias or technically beaten Bilefside basically triggers the song of the hero like meaning the dragons side quests and that basically like locks up what exactly you can do in all of the areas so right here you'll land uh, and then immediately I think Immediately, Groose will come and be like, Hey, the piece of is about to break free again. Yeah, I bet. So I guess Groose has just sort of been waiting up here, like, for days or whatever, waiting to see if the beast will ever break free. And luckily, as soon as it did, um, I just showed up out of nowhere. Whoa! Feels like that deal's gonna give away any second. Oh, uh, no need to panic. You know what the Groose and Eric could do? Am I right? Learn about the control. I don't even need to know the meaning of the word defeat. Oh, I bet you do. Yeah, Groose, you just keep telling yourself that. It's okay, you're awesome. So, um, basically, um, it's time for another fight with the Imprisoned. So this is the, um, third and final Imprisoned fight. After this, we don't have to worry about Big Ugly anymore. I think that's what Groose calls him, Big Ugly. I'll, I'll call him that too, old Big Ugly. And this is definitely the best fight by far, just because it just, it just, I like how it's, it's not like just the exact same fight. Like, it's kind of different every time, and... Sort of like the way that you have to beat it also changes slightly, so this time he'll be able to do something new that he, I don't think he does it immediately, but he will, so I'll, I'll show you what I mean when it happens, and anyways, it's the imprisoned, let's have fun, I should probably take out my bow since that usually helps, and he'll just start stomping again, well look who's finally back, good thing too, I was getting tired of waiting. To put her, let's do this. I right. so it's basically the exact same initially, but this time you don't actually have to wait for Groose at all. You can just do it immediately. So let's just. Okay, that was unfortunate. Okay, let me get back out of the way. Do it. How did it wait? Oh, okay. He still shot the bomb. I didn't realize that. Like I think I like. I guess I pressed like shoot the bomb, and then like I guess I got like attacked, but I I guess I pressed the button right before he was able. To Wait, right, like, I, I pressed the button to shoot before Link got shot, but I don't, I don't really know. I'm just gonna, like, start shooting something like that. I like Sharks, but I think I, I shot him. Okay, I didn't, really didn't want to do this. That was a bad idea. Oh, well. That's fine, though. I'll just come down. This is, like, something that you can do that sort of comes into play later on. But I think what I did is I shot the bomb, then I got hit, but I was able to press the button before hit, so the bomb still activated and then after I got hit then uh, Groose eventually still shot it. Anyway, I, that's pretty much all Groose needs to do. Let's just avoid. Okay, that was not good. Okay, I guess Groose is ready. That's okay. I can probably do it like this. And one more. Okay, never mind Groose here. Groose, I really need you. Alright, so shoot him like that. That should hit him right. Wait, actually get a miss? No, I... Okay, I guess the bomb actually blew it out. Oh, that's actually really cool. And I was in perfect position. Cause now I am right here. That's that was actually that was actually done really really well. I can't believe that I broke his last toe using the bomb, and then I was in purpose position to um hit him with my sword. That see, like I really, I mean, this boss is sort of uncreative and bland, but I think it's more along the lines of it's like it's like a tag team working with Groose, and it does change. So here, so now he can fly, which is kind of a bad thing. And wow, look at Groose. Look how buff he is. That bomb is enormous. And Groose is just like, no big deal. I'm super strong and everything. So anyway, at this point, all you can do is, um, you can't do anything with Link. Eventually, Groose will be ready. And, um, at this point, basically, you just have to shoot him with a bomb. 
uh, and you really want to like not miss because um, as you can see he does get pretty high up and uh, at this point all you can do is just shoot him with the bomb and that's like all it needs to say. Like, so like the ba boss, the fights are like significantly different. I mean this time th that was like only, that's all you have to do for that phase is just um, shoot the one bomb at him. And anyways, uh, now let's just hit him. Now he'll just be stuck, so let's go. One, two, and three. Okay, there we go. And now things, some more stuff is going to get interesting. Now, like, the very last hit is also significantly different also, and I'll show you what that means. So, um, basically he's going to, now I, I guess now he has, like, a, I don't know, like a dark halo or something. And now I guess Groose's bomb supply will be gone, and basically here's what you have to do now. So he is going to continue to fly again, and um, at this point you just want to like pretty much run as fast as you can to the very top. And uh, okay, where am I? Uh, you obviously want to take all of the little gusts, or else you obviously will make it. And uh, okay, where am I? I really hope I'm close to him. Am I on the very opposite side? Okay, I'm not too far away. I can probably still make it. You're pretty much screwed if you like run up the wrong side or if you do this too late. But basically what you have to do is you have to get to Groose and then you actually have to launch yourself. You think you think that maybe he'd like just have you use one of your own bombs. But no, basically you have to get in and uh, basically shoot yourself onto the Imprison, which is pretty awesome. So that should work. Uh, I guess something I haven't explained about the aiming is that um, in this game, like, the aiming is exactly where, like, that little um, blue ball is. Because, like, in some games, you sort of have to, like, shoot above or below. Like, in Mario 64, like, the cursor, you actually, like, you have to, like, aim above where your cursor is pointing. Because, like, you sort of, like, arc down. But here, it's the exact location. So you want to aim, ex so want to, like, have, like, the little blue cursor exactly on the imprison because that's exactly where you'll land and the same thing goes for the bombs anyway that was the third imprison fight pretty fun pretty awesome I, I just like how it does change I mean if it was the exact same fight three times then I would probably hate it a lot but as it is I think it's a fun and unique boss it's not like the best in the game I thought the last boss the Levias was better but I think it still stand, it stands its own I don't know anyways that was the last time we have to fight him, at least. Well, actually, it's not, but I'll get to that in a little bit. Anyways, uh, let's just seal it up with another one of, like, the whole drawing thingies. And this time, it's, what is it, like, the inverted Triforce, sort of? Okay, so slash, slash, slash. Come on, slash, 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 and slash. Come on, there we go. I'm not even sure what that's. It's, it's like three overlapping triangles, which is pretty cool. I guess maybe it's supposed to, like, symbol the Triforce in some way. I'm not really sure. I guess the very first symbol we did with uh, was also a triangle, right? Maybe it's the Illuminati. Illuminati confirmed. 33, the eyes are... The walls have eyes. Is that what they say? I don't know. Anyways, uh, that was that. That was... I guess it's a pretty nice way to start off the whole, um, getting out of the Song of the Heroes. Well, I gotta say, I thought we were guards this time. Sort of glad I was wrong about that. Oh, I'm, I'm sure you were. I'm gonna run back to the temple. I guess I'll give Groose like a voice like that. I mean, I could imagine he had, probably has like a really deep voice, you know? I mean, he's pretty masculine, you know? Got all that testosterone. He probably has a low voice and stuff. Probably a giant penis, too. I can imagine that. Anyways, we have to get back to the temple. And uh, that was pretty fun and all, but we still have to find the dragon. And apparently we can't actually get to anything that's uh, outside of the sacred grounds or the very least we just couldn't land in them maybe we can still take it the long way but there's no fun in that I mean I, I, mean, I, I activate all those bird statues so I could use the warps for a reason I didn't want to just have to walk through it all again that's no fun maybe there's another way hopefully there is anyways here we are at the temple let's talk to granny beast has been sealed for a third time of course it has I mean I, I can do this all day I mean seriously Ling Groosh you've done well can dwell on your success don't worry, I'm, I guarantee I can do it like a thousand times. You're close to summon the Triforce. I mean, to some extent, I mean, I'm making progress. Seek out the three dragons. Yep, kind of random, but those dragons, I always knew that they had some secrets. They're pretty important. Anyways, short while ago, I noticed the path to the woods was completely flooded. To protect the land, I closed the gate and drove back the water with a simple spell. Okay, so apparently this person is magic all of a sudden. I mean... 
I'm not really sure what I expected. Anyways, the point is, is I get like the woods are flooded or something. <laughs> is that all? Continue this problem solved. This bell with Big Ollie got me thinking. Otherwise, use the Grusinator. Climb up that bad boy, and I'll give you a lift over the woods. Am I right? Yeah. Am I right? Get her wrapped. So, um, this is actually pretty awesome. Now, if you go out, so if, I guess I can actually show this off. This boy has made himself very useful. I almost gave her Grusinator's voice. Uh, Safe journey, yeah. Uh, don't worry, soft landing. I'm sure I've had much harder landings. But I guess I'll show this off. If you try and go like outside the temple, I'll show you what um Granny was talking about just so you have an idea of what's going on. Uh, so let's just go and check on that real quick. Let's get, is the Goron still here? Yeah, he is. Okay. Sorry, what is the magic of arrows? Uh, sure, why not? Alright, there you go. Blessed Butterfly, you're the best. And let me give you a little... Oh, I guess you can just keep on getting stuff. And, okay, we got a golden skull. I wasn't actually going to talk to my... I was just, like, pressing A because I was, you know, running. And I guess I accidentally talked to him. That's kind of funny. Anyways, we got some more arrows. Which I guess is actually helpful because I was out of arrows. Or, I wasn't out of arrows, but I was actually pretty low on them. Anyways, if you come over here, the gate is closed. So we can't go. That's too bad. But luckily, um, we still have... Groose to give us a quote-unquote lift. So let's see what he means by that. I guess we can just come through here. I've already shown that this is sort of like a shortcut to get back to like the upper area. And it put, actually puts us right at the railing, so it's actually probably a lot quicker to come this way. I mean, I didn't have to go out there uh, to begin with, but I figured I'd show why exactly we can't do it the normal way. Anyway, if we come over here and talk to Groose, or do we talk to him or we have to get in? Wanna head to Farron Woods, do ya? No, so just hop into the Grusinate and I'll fling you over. Why not? I've I've cheated death before. I can do it again. Don't you worry about the landing. <laughs> That's funny. So anyway, here's basically what he does. He basically moves the catapult, and he basically just throws you. And I have to say, that Grusinator is strong. Look how far he throws you. I mean, wow. I wonder how much, like, torque that thing has got. And anyway, you land in Farron Woods. I mean, lo it looks a little different. I'm not really seeing the woods part. More of the... Farron Ocean, and this, okay, I guess it is still Farron Woods, I guess they have to remind you that, because I'm, I'm not totally, I'm not completely convinced, to be honest, but, okay, whatever, so there's, there's a perfectly logical explanation of why everything is underwater, sort of, so basically what we have to do is we have to go find the water dragon, and where the water dragon is, is not the hardest thing to find, basically she's inside this inside the great tree so let's go and say hi to her she's some somewhere around here Where, where's the opening again i think it's probably like up here and like jump out like okay Can I, okay here's the opening there we go so if you want okay i, I guess you can't go in the, oh, do, oh i think you have to like go in from the very bottom i think and then like swim all the way to the top okay yeah because all of like the other ones are like push you out so where exactly is the entrance? I mean, I had enough trouble trying to find my way around this place back when everything was, like, normal. I'm really not too confident about my abilities when it's underwater, but I guess I'll do my best. Okay, I found it. Uh, you want to just sort of enter, I guess, down here by, like, the initial way that we came in. And this whole section will be underwater, too, but uh, if you remember the... But, like, I think, like, just right in here is where the dragon is, so it should be pretty smooth sailing or something. I don't really know. So I guess sort of on a related topic, yesterday I went uh, paddle boating for the first time, which, if you don't know what that is, basically when you have like a sort of, it's sort of like a surfboard boat, and essentially you have to stand on it and basically use like a paddle and just sort of like boat yourself over the water. And I was really terrible because I had never actually gone like boating in any form before, and I fell like a million times, but it was fun. I got like super soaked, but you know, it's all part of the fun, you know. And I guess that's sort of related because I'm underwater now, and I'm probably spent just as much time in the water as I will right now. Okay, can you please get out of the water? There we go. Anyway, somewhere around here, something's gonna happen, right? Okay, I guess I have to like just find the loading zone. That's my favorite game to play: is find the loading zone. Anyways, at this point, oh, there's the dragon. Looking like a complete stalker. You know, I'm not, I'm not really sure where she was, because I'm pretty sure I looked. 
beforehand, but she's because she's really good at playing hide and seek and stuff. Also, how exactly does this giant dragon get into a tree? I mean, those holes are pretty small. I mean, Link can barely fit through, and you're pretty big. Who dares to dip even a toe into my waters? Uh, the same person who saved your life? Yeah, 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 that's what I thought! Yeah, Link. So, let's have a look at you. You seem a great deal stronger. Yeah, I've been hitting the Skyloft gym, been working out, got a pretty awesome sword now. You swam all this way to try to get me to teach you this part of the Song of the Hero? Yeah, I did, actually. I can't go around giving away something that every precious, precious every hero who flaunts my waters. Well, I saved you. I got all the sacred flames. I have the master sword. And to get here, I had to first kill the ultimate evil and then take a really, really risky cannon shot by some guy who used to beat me up. So, um, I don't really think, I, I wouldn't really consider myself just any hero, but you know what? This dragon just likes to be obnoxious or something. Anyways, yeah, y you guys didn't think it would be this easy, right? I mean, it wasn't that easy to begin with, but you can't just find the dragon and get the song. You have to do something else first. So, basically, here's what's going to happen. The dragon basically puts all of this stuff out and... Also, I just realized that, like, one bird statue to the right of us, we could have descended on, because that's above the water, so I'm not really sure why we couldn't just go to that one, but whatever. I guess using Groose, using Groose's cannon, using Groose's what's catapult instead is good enough. Anyways, this person, the dragon basically splits up the song into what are called, like, tad tones, and you have to basically collect them all, and once you do, you learn the song, which is kind of random, but oh well, at least. I, I guess I'm sort of happy that it's not that simple. At least it means you use like more of a, more like gameplay with it, but this is sort of annoying. I don't, I don't really know. I do like how, um, to like do sort of everything in this game, you do sort of have to. There was like a little bit more to it than just like sort of finding it. So like right here are some tattoos. Basically you just want to like spin into them and uh, you can get that part. So that's really all you have to do. So the thing is you still have to like explore this entirety of uh, underwater Pharon to find them all. I really don't know exactly where they all are, and it'll probably take me forever to find them, so that's kind of a shame. So let's see if we can find them all. Okay, so there's one right there. So, um, okay, that's not good. Oh, oh, wait, 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 okay. I'm glad I have a ton of hearts. Can I please get this? Okay, there we go. We're, we're, we're safe. So some of the Tad Tones are, there's like multiple of them in one group okay so like these two right here are uh in the same like sort of i don't really know like i don't really know music terms but basically you have to get them both in within a certain time limit and uh you and or else they'll basically reset and the other types are um the tad tones with their which they're only one of and i just got an amber relic because of course i get an amber relic and uh, those ones there's just one of them so you don't really have to worry about those Catch him with a spin. Yeah, I already knew that. Guess you humans use up air whenever you do that. Yeah. So that's the other thing I was gonna say. So as you saw, I actually lost all my air. So in addition to the um normal air bubbles, these like blue ones, also those purple ones, just basically completely drain your air, which is kind of a bad thing. And after you've like drained all of your air, you'll start to lose heart. Now luckily I actually have a ton of heart, so I don't need to. So I was saved initially, but um you don't really wanna press your luck too much. Okay, so I guess right there is the magical barrier. I guess I'm at the very beginning. Like I said, I really don't know where I am. I, I've always gotten lost in this place and I just really don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I think this is the super long one, right? Okay, can I like grab those all? Uh, you don't have like one set timer. The timer like sort of resets after you get one. Okay, am I like even grabbing all of these? I can't even tell. There's like 16 of them in this like one like really long section and I hope I didn't miss any but I knowing my luck I probably did okay wait can I like grab that one uh wait oh I actually did get them all sweet that's actually the hardest group of them to get so honestly at this point it I'm not really sure how I'm gonna make this, this honestly takes a kind of long time to do and I really don't know where most of them are okay I guess I found another one right there okay where's the okay there we go I haven't found any of the single one, which is kind of interesting. I guess I don't really know where to look. Like I said, I don't know where they all are. All I can do is just 
go everywhere and hope for the best to find them all. So I'm not really sure how I'll put this together. I might just sort of like cut through all the different tad tones and stuff as opposed to just having to, you guys just sort of watching me do everything. Okay, wow, that was really lucky. Those ones, so, so yeah, and the other thing is some of them move. So they're not all, so some of them aren't even always in the same spot. So you just have to, I don't know. I like, I got super lucky that I just ran into that group right there. But if I had, then they could have been anywhere. Uh, so if you talk to this guy, he'll basically say that you can uh, douse for them. I should explain that there's a technique used to search for the others of my tribe. That was the dousing. If you remember back, we like used dousing to find the other kickwees. Also, I just remember where one of the um one where one other tad tone is, which is kind of hard to find. So I'll I guess I'll go after that one real quick. Uh, Calibre your dousing ability. Thanks. Okay, so dousing obviously makes it a lot quicker. Even though I'm not even sure, can you like douse underwater? No, you can't. Okay, Fee literally just answered my question. Uh, was it down here? Yeah, here it is. So right underneath this lily pad, uh, directly right there, there's actually a tad zone. You actually have to jump down and do that, and that'll free one. Okay, I found some, it looks like. Okay, these ones are... Okay, that's not good. There are... Oh, boy. Okay, that's really not good. Okay, uh, where's the last one? Wait, did I miss one? Okay, there are yellow ones. Okay, um, I died! Well, that's cool. I mean, luckily I have, like, a bunch of fairies, so I didn't really die, but... Th I told you the... Wait, is that... Oh, that refills my health, too. Okay, that's pretty sweet. So, moral of the stories, always bring fairies, or else I would have actually game over, and then I would have had to have gotten all of those over again. Okay, and I found the final eight. Uh, they're in that, like, one... They're in, like, the actual area. 
where the Kiku that I just mentioned, the one that's inside the tree is, and these are the eight, so I just grab them all, and then we'll finally be done with that. Okay, can I, like, actually grab them all? So it does give you enough time if you, like, know where they are anyways. One more, and they also, like, sort of, like, are attracted to you whenever you spin. Anyways, there we go. And there we go. So we finally got the all the tatones. So that's pretty awesome. No small. What did he even say? Oh, no small beat. Oh, you are a riot. Whatever your name is. He has he has a name, but I forgot what it is. Oh well. Anyways, there are all the tatones. Like I said, I'll probably just cut to the tatones when at the point where I just started having no clue what I was trying to do. So that's all well and good. Like I said, you can douse for them and try and do it systematically but honestly my suggestion is just just go everywhere and eventually you will find them all I mean I'm sort of going for the algorithmic method as opposed to a heuristic one like if you don't know what that means like a heuristic um, way to solve a problem is basically when you try and take like shortcuts and not try everything but you but in theory it would work quicker if you like know what you're doing and an algorithmic one is basically when you pretty much just try everything and eventually and you're guaranteed to get a solution because if you try everything eventually you'll find everything so my suggestion I said just do it algorithmically so basically just go around long enough and just try everywhere and just keep going and eventually you will find them all like if you did like heuristic it'd be like using dousing which in theory you you wouldn't be trying everywhere and it would make you in theory do it quicker but at the same time the dousing isn't always accurate because like the tad tones do move and you can only do it from the surface of the water so you basically go to the surface search around try and remember where exactly what you just doused for is and then swim quickly to there and hope that it's still there and you might still forget or get it wrong and stuff anyway that's your little lesson for today algorithm versus heuristic anyway i cannot find how to get into the tree which is kind of stupid so whatever i'll just meet you there where is oh wow i was so far away oh good i'm gonna die all uh, right here we go and we are at the dragon so i got all your tad tones not to mention i saved your life and you know found you also have the master sword so not really sure why i had to do this but anyways we get the so basically um the water dragon will give you one part of the song of the hero so if you forgot like what we're trying to do basically we have to get the song of the hero which if you don't really know why we need that just think about why we need the previous songs and I guess the song was split into four parts one part was given to each of the three dragons plus one part was given to Levias so the idea is we have to find the three dragons and get all of their parts and go back to Levias get his part and then we'll have the whole song and then we can you know get the Triforce and stuff so at that point then the water dragon decides to lower the water I guess if you didn't really catch it the reason that she said she wanted to do she wanted to raise the water in the first place was I guess there were so many enemies so she just flooded everything and killed all the enemies but unfortunately she also sort of endangered the kickwees and you know just generally made it kind of in uninhabitable for the normal wildlife and but now it's everything is back to normal so we're all good so um are there any like places where I can like heal okay actually no one I okay oh fee's gonna say something the water level has dropped the forces returned to its former less aquatic state yep fee you are very right Yep, part of the song of the hero. Seek out the other two dragons. Uh, so I'm gonna. So I'm. I have like almost no health because I lost so much from like swimming and stuff. So I am going to go and get more health. I know one spot. There's actually a stool in the seal temple. So I'm gonna go there and then I'll meet you for like the whole end stuff. All right, here we are back at the seal temple. Let me just sit on the stool so I can refill my. Oh, Groose will say something. Hard to leave the old girl all to herself. I guess that's referring to Granny. Don't dare telling Colin to sit them down here till I can care some little old lady. Don't worry, your secret is safe with me. For now. Anyways, uh, 
now we're full health. So I guess, as I said, that's going to be it for today. We got Farron's part of the Song of the Hero. So now that's left are Elden and Lanera. So as I said, um, Elden and Lanera, the dragons themselves, we still have not seen. That's because they're actually in parts of their respective provinces that we haven't gone to yet, which is kind of interesting. Like here in Farron, we, every, everywhere that we were, we had already gone there. They're just, you know slightly different, and by slightly different I mean everything was flooded, but the other places are actually going to be completely new areas, plus a lot of other interesting stuff. So yeah, we'll be starting those next time. Next time we will do Elden, then we'll do Lanero, and we'll have some fun there. Anyways, I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, and take care.